Cystic fibrosis is a chronic, life-threatening lung disease that threatens the body's respiratory system, the digestive tract, and the reproductive system, too. There's no cure, and the pandemic has only made life more precarious for people diagnosed with CF. But they are living longer lives thanks to the research and the generosity of other people who care. Joining me now to talk about this huge event that benefits CF patients is Jennifer Bleacher. She is Community Outreach Director, Coordinator, I should say, for the Take a Breather Foundation in Narberth. Thank you so much for talking with us, Jen. It's such a vulnerable population. It's especially during COVID, you're a CF patient, double lung transplant recipient. Tell us about your life and how it's been impacted. Uh, thank you so much for having me today. Sure. Um, cystic fibrosis is hard. Uh, when I was born, I was not expected to live past the age of 12. Um, science, science and um, due to the generosity of many people have come quite a long way, um, but there still is no cure. And I am now 50 years old, and I'm also a mother, which is really unusual for patients with cystic fibrosis. But um, yes, I did finally have to go through a double lung transplant um, September of 2020, which was at the height of the pandemic, um, making it extra scary and difficult in many ways. Um, but yeah, hours of treatments, hours of um, many, many medications, it's costly, it's exhausting. Um, and it's not fun, but we're here today and um, so grateful to talk about it. CF patients, they weren't even in the first tier of vaccine recipients when they first came out. Uh, you eventually got on one of the closer categories, but tell me how the pandemic really impacted you guys and, and your specific patient population. Thanks. Yes, um, that's true. And Having a respiratory illness and then the pandemic, COVID-19 being a respiratory virus um, was extremely scary. I mean, as a CF patient, uh, we are always um, a little immunocompromised. So during winters and regular cold and flu season, we have to kind of um, uh, stay inside like everybody did during the pandemic. So it was nothing new to us. We've been doing this a long time. We've been virtually con conferencing each other for a long time. We've been having to stay away from each other for a long time. It's actually a role for cystic, cystic fibrosis patients always to stay six feet away from each other. So all the things that were playing into the pandemic um, regulations were nothing new to us. Um, it was just that the rest of society was kind of getting a taste of what it's like to have cystic fibrosis, although they could generally breathe. <laughs> Incredible, Jen. It. Jen, talk about how important it is to have this 27th annual Narberth CF run, specifically for how your community socializes. Um, so we're we're happy to be able to get back um, fully in person. Um, although you know we still are very cognizant of taking precautions even at this stage, um, but what. The Take a Breather Foundation does and events like the, the 27th annual Narberth Run, um, we provide wishes to children and adults living with cystic fibrosis. And it's all through the generosity of, of donations. Um, and I know that, you know, sending a child on a, a cool Disney, Disney vacation or providing them with um, a week at the beach or, you know, they've met um, teams or had meet and greets and some really fun experiences. It, it, it's kind of like what most people get to do, um, take vacations yearly. Uh, but when you have cystic fibrosis, we take a plethora of medications. It's extremely costly. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, infection and, um, you know, worries about traveling and germs. Uh, regularly. So um, traveling is not always something that families can do. It's hours of chest PT and long hospitalizations for these right. people and kids. So um, yeah. this really gives them like a reset button. Jennifer Bleacher, just your sheer existence inspires so many people. Good luck this weekend um, for the Thank run. You. I hope it leads to a breakthrough. We're going to have much more information on the 27th annual Narberth Cystic Fibrosis Run. Go to NBC10.com slash find it on 10. Or, of course, you can tap the NBC app and find it there, too.